This is a plastic bag. This is usually not a toy. But if we tape three sides of the bag with duct tape, then we can start to insert some paint. It can be washable paint. If you're living on the edge, it can be non-washable paint. You can also insert some cotton balls or puff balls in there for texture. But when you get that paint squeezed in the bag, then you can seal the top of the bag. And you want to seal it so all the air comes out of the bag. Because you don't want to make a balloon that we're popping. We want to make something that we can finger paint cleanly with. And then we'll need some duct tape. And we have a whole bunch of duct tape here, but I've already torn off a piece. And with that very top of the bag, the one side that hadn't been sealed yet, we want to fold the duct tape over. And when we fold that duct tape over, we make a liquid seal so none of the paint can come out of the bag. And then we can finger paint cleanly inside and we can mush it and slide it and squish it all around with our fingers and we can hold it up to the light and rearrange the shapes and they tend to look really pretty. When we think about the word fluid or the word flow, we tend to think of the word liquid. We think of things that are wet. Sometimes we think about rap music and how good somebody's flow is, how good the words tumble out of somebody's mouth. But air is also something that's fluid. And if you have a baby in your life, you might have seen these big, long plastic bags that are refills for diaper genie pails and diaper genies are where dirty diapers go and then they get twisted in these big long bags so then your house doesn't stink but if you cut apart one of these diaper genie bags and just tie a hole in the end and this diaper genie bag i'm estimating this table is six feet long so this diaper genie bag is a little longer it's about seven feet long and I can blow it up with just one breath. If I put my mouth right over the bag, I can't do it in one breath because the air hasn't had a chance to flow together. The air hasn't had a chance to become fluid. So we'll try it with my mouth right over it. No luck. But if I stretch the bag out, and I lie myself across the table. And then I put my head, not right on the bag, but next to it. And then I can fill up the whole bag with just one breath of air. And then I got a big, long balloon that I can play with or shoot across the room.